I wanted to do a video about um, optimization. So, um, first thing about optimization is for sculpts. Um, uh, when you've got some complex uh, object, um, it can start using more and more thermo. And this is because the surface area is getting more and more. So now we're on 8% graphics for this because there is more surface area to it. Um, and uh, But there is a tool called the Sculpture Detail tool and in it it shows you what what stuff for its size it has uh, generally quite high detail so you can like use use R1 R2 on it using the sculpture detail and it's subtracting reducing the detail and you can see as I go the flex become more and more apparent if you press triangle then it flips between positive and positive and negative so I'm now increasing detail, so it's reducing the size of those flecks. So now it's, it looks like a flat surface. Uh, this consider scale is for when you've got like... Um, so I've got a cube here. But if, if, if it's some tiny little detail on a character, then it's probably not worth it being so um, high detail. So when you go in here, it says that's uh, very small for its detail, so we'll make it more red, and even more red compared to that because it's it's such a difference in the ratio between the size of it and the uh, detail. So then you might want to go and reduce that detail. There we go, and you can see even at this scale, um, you can't even tell that it's a lower detail now. Um, even though we've saved a ton of um, thermo. So people often use uh, the looseness um, setting to make the flex bigger. But then if I turn on some of the thermometer, this one takes 4%. And even doesn't matter what I do with the looseness, now it's really loose, but it's still taking 4%. Whereas if I uh, take that looseness off and use the sculpture detail tool to reduce reduce it down you can see it reducing tons and tons um, so now we're at two percent and if I delete it it's less than one percent because it hasn't brought up that notice um, so that's uh, really a really smart way of um, making something more flecky more loose uh, while actually saving on thermo Another thing to bear in mind with the sculpture detail stuff uh, is that if you go in here and use the looseness tool and I'll just uh, snap it to the surface like that and then we make it super loose you can see the flex are larger because of that looseness being applied um, so if we up this what does that cost? 5%. Um, now if we uh, loosen all of this up uh, with the looseness tool so that's cost way more way less now and if we delete that it doesn't even cost 1% um, this is because uh, the it's the surface flex that really is a good representation of how much graphics thermo a sculpt will cost. So if you uh, loosen surfaces, um, then that actually makes that cheaper on on thermo. So if you had an eyeball, so most of this will be covered by the head. You probably want the front of the eye to be quite tight so that you can have some cool um, like shininess like that to give it some life but the back side of it you'll probably never see so um, to save on that what you can do is if I just get a cube now and I go in the looseness tool um, and make the back side of it loose 
then or before I do that I'll make the whole thing super tight and then I loosen the back side of it like that that's costing a lot less so if I delete this one with the optimized uh, back side of the eye uh, that costs 11% if I undo the looseness, then I delete it. That costs 22%. So um, if you do that uh, technique even more, then it'll it'll increase the um, the amount of savings you can get, and you'll never notice it because it's you can never see it in the actual game. I'd like to thank Dead MC, the Common People, MDKD99, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.